What is going on everybody? It's Medicosis Perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense. Over the last several videos, we started talking about urinalysis or urine analysis. We talked about the normal color of the urine and we said it should be amber yellow. Based on your level of fluid intake, it could be light amber, dark amber, etc. The more concentrated your urine is, the darker it becomes. And we talked about the aspect or the appearance of the urine. It should be clear, not cloudy. And we talked about the odor of the urine. Normally it should be aromatic, but if it is foul smelling, if it smells like fruit, or if it smells like maple syrup, we have a problem. As for today, let's talk about the pH of the urine. Why do you call it pH? It's the power of hydrogen or the potentia hydrogena. It's all about powers and logarithms. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. What's the normal pH of your blood? Remember my rule of fours? Yeah, it was 7.4. That's the blood pH. What kind of blood? Arterial blood, because we're ordering arterial blood gases for the pH. And as you know, the vein tend to be more acidic than the artery because the metabolites are dished onto the veins. What is pH? pH is the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration, which means the more acidic a fluid is, the higher higher the hydrogen ion concentration, but the lower the pH. Conversely, if I am a basic or an alkaline fluid, it means I have less hydrogen ion concentration, but a greater pH. What's an acid? Well, we have three definitions if you remember your chemistry. Please pause and review. Just focus on this to keep it simple. An acid is anything that's put in water and dishes out protons. The more protons a fluid has, the greater the concentration of the hydrogen ion, the more acidic the solution is, and the lower its pH. What's a base? Also three definitions. It's anything that dishes out hydroxide ions when put in water. Urine pH, what's the normal? Between 4.6 and 8. Uh, the medicosis way, my way of doing it, is 5 to 7. Not enough? Just remember 6. That's good enough for me. Is 6 acidic, alkaline, or neutral? Slightly acidic. That's your natural, normal urine. Is this a good thing? Absolutely. Because if it's acidic, it means bacteria have a harder time to grow. So your natural pH of your urine is preventing bacterial growth. Also remember that nothing is 100% formidable. Next, let's talk about causes of acidic urine and causes of basic urine. Acidic urine. Maybe if my blood has acidosis or acidemia, my urine will also be acidic. Makes sense. Maybe if I'm on a carnivore diet or eating cranberries, I'll get low urine pH, which makes sense because carnivore diet, lots of meat in the food, equals tons of metabolism, equals excretion of lots of lactic acid, sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid, all kinds of acids, which lower the pH. Starvation causes starvation ketoacidosis. Ketoacidosis is an acidosis in my blood and in the urine. Ketonemia, ketonuria. Also, diabetic ketoacidosis is another ketoacidosis. Anything that causes volume depletion, such as bleeding, third degree burns, severe diarrhea or vomiting, etc. because volume depletion will trigger the release of aldosterone. Aldosterone has four functions. Number one, it reabsorbs salt. Two, it reabsorbs water. Three, it excretes potassium in the urine. And four, it excretes hydrogen ions in the urine, making your urine acidic. Type 2 and type 4 renal tubular acidosis will give you acidic blood and acidic urine. But type 1 renal tubular acidosis, yeah, it's still an acidosis of the blood, but it will give you an alkaline urine. That's why it belongs here. Do we have medications that can make my urine acidic? Yes, NH4Cl, which is ammonium chloride, mandelic acid, another acid, and loop and thiazide diuretics. However, the other diuretics, the acetazolamide, which is carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, and the potassium sparing diuretics such as spironolactone will make your urine alkaline. Then, what's the opposite of acidemia in my blood? Alkalemia in my blood. Carnivore diet? Nope, vegan diet. Citrus fruit is interesting. Sometimes it makes the urine acidic, but most of the time it makes the urine alkaline. Also, if you remember, vitamin C interferes with the test for hematuria, if you have watched my previous videos. Gastric suction or vomiting makes you lose HCL. You're losing the H, so you're becoming alkalotic. Sometimes the urine will become alkalotic too. However, too much vomiting will lead to volume depletion, triggering the aldo, which makes the urine acidic. 
That's why it's complicated. You need to be a good doctor who thinks, not another doofus with a stethoscope. Some pearls for the pros. I've told you about the story of RTA. Now let's talk about kidney stones. All kidney stones will precipitate in an acidic urine, except if the kidney stone has the word phosphate in the name, such as calcium phosphate or ammonium magnesium phosphate. These will form in a basic medium. The P with the B. Phosphate, basic. Shamefully, there is another stone that can form in a basic urine that does not have the word phosphate in it, and this is calcium carbonate. So you can say that if it has phosphate or carbonate, it's alkaline. Any other stone is acidic. Calcium oxalate, acidic urine. Urate kidney stones, acidic urine. How about cysteine or cystin stones, acidic urine. If the urine sample is allowed to sit or stand for a long time, the urine will become alkaline. Even if this patient was fine with a urine pH of 6, if you allow the urine to stand for a long time, it will turn alkaline. So when it comes to urine samples, it has to be fresh to make Gordon Ramsay happy. Moreover, if the urine is left uncovered without the cap, you know what's gonna happen? Carbon dioxide will leave the urine sample. Carbon dioxide is an acid because carbon dioxide plus water equals carbonic acid. When the acid is leaving a sample, the sample will become more basic. Medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. If you want to learn more about acidosis, alkalosis, the anion gap, the osmolar gap, the difference between the serum anion gap versus the urine anion gap, base excess, base deficit, compensated, uncompensated, partially compensated, then download my acid base imbalance course at medicosisperfectsnellis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.